Hi class, for this YouTube video, we will be talking about the accounting equation. So, paano natin mas simpleng maintindihan yung accounting equation? We have the illustration here. Makikita natin that um, assets is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. It is important to note that kapag hindi equal yung liabilities at owner's equity sa assets, hindi siya magiging balance. So, it's either yung isang side will be mas mabigat kaysa dun sa isa. So, it's important na yung liabilities, yung pinagsamang liabilities at owner's equity ay equal sa asset. It doesn't necessarily mean na kailangan 50% um, 50-50 sila or Uh, para makabuo ng asset. Minsan, mas malaki si liabilities. Minsan, mas malaki naman si owner's equity. But, ganun pa man, pag pinagsama natin sila, dapat equal sila kay asset. So, this is the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Sabi nga dito, for every transaction, the accounting equation should always be balanced. So, you might ask me, paano kapag si liability si nasa kabilang side ng um, equal sign? So, kung nasa kabilang side ng equal sign si liabilities, so, magiging liabilities equals owner's equity minus asset kasi ililipat natin si asset sa kabilang sign kaya magiging negative siya. Ganun naman kapag si owner's equity ang nilipat natin sa kabilang side ng equal sign, magiging owner's equity equals liabilities minus asset. So, magkakaroon tayo ng short preview kung ano nga ba yung asset, liabilities, at owner's equity para mas madali natin siyang maintindihan. So, ano nga ba si asset? Sabi dito, it is the resource or these are the resources owned by the business. Ito yung mga ari-arian na pag-aari ng mga business. It could be cash, it could be mga buildings, it could be land, it could be equipment, or anything na ang may-ari sa kanya ay yung business. Ano naman yung liabilities? These are the obligations by the business. So, ito yung mga, um, simply, ito yung mga utang na meron si business. So, siguro ginamit niya to para bumili ng property o kaya baka ginamit niya to para pambayad ng kuryente ng business or anything na, um, na utang ng business para sa business. So, yung owner's equity naman, this is the residual of the owner of the business. Residual interest siya kasi yung pag minus natin yung liabilities sa assets, di ba, ang matitira ay owner's equity. Pero simply, ito yung mga, ito yung interest ng may-ari dun sa business. Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung possibly in-invest niya through cash or in-invest niya through mga material na bagay na para mabuo yung business. So, kailangan natin ma-imagine, no, na para mabuo yung assets, kailangan yung may-ari, kailangan niya mag maglagay ng, mag-invest ng either pera or mga material na bagay. At saka, minsan kung kailangan niya rin, kailangan niya rin mag mangutang it's either from the banks or in any institutions para makabuo siya, makabili siya ng mga assets. Nakakailanganin naman yun para sa business. So, meron pa kasing expanded um, equation, yung accounting equation. So, sabi nga dito, there are four elements that affect equity, which is investment, withdrawal, revenue, and expenses. Pero, hindi muna natin siya itatakal eh. Siyempre, hindi mawawala na bibigyan ko kayo ng example para mas, ma mas maintindihan nyo ng maigi. So, yun nga sabi sa accounting equation, yung assets equals liabilities at owner's equity. Kaya makikita natin dito na yung liabilities at owner's equity pareha sila ng color. At pag pinagsama sila, mag-aray tayo sa assets. So, halimbawa, meron tayong problem. Ang given daw na assets ay 50,000. At meron tayong owner's equity na 10,000 ngayon, pinapahanap sa atin. Magkano ang liabilities? So, para makuha natin yun, kailangan um, yung 50,000 ay ibawas natin 
ng 10,000 para makuha natin si liabilities which is 40,000. So, i-check natin. Pag ba in ko si 40,000 at si 10,000, 50,000 ba siya? Yes. So, pag in ko si liabilities at si owner's equity, equal siya kay asset. Ayan. For our next example, eto na yung sinasabi natin. Meron tayong liabilities na 20,000 at owner's equity na 80,000. So, magkano si asset? You just simply have to add them. So, ang sagot ay 100,000. Ang dali, no? Nag-add minus lang tayo. For our third example, ang nawawala naman ay si owner's equity. So, sabi dito, meron tayong assets na 70,000. At meron naman tayong liabilities na 35,000. Anong ito kailangan natin i-add kay liabilities para maging 70,000? So, kailangan natin ng another na 35,000. So, kung makikita nyo, pag in ko si liabilities na 35,000 at si owner's equity na 35,000, ma mabubuo natin si asset na 70,000. So, yun. That's it for today. So, wala rin yung tatandaan. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Accounting equation.